Anton, tell us the, how the association with Youngstar came about. Uh, well, actually, at the time, I was in hospital after my accident, <laughs> hence me sitting in a wheelchair, and uh, our son Oliver was at the sales with Arthur Inglis, and uh, they're good friends, and uh, we've had quite an association with Arthur, and, and uh, they, the, uh, and Oliver was looking, Oliver and Arthur were looking for Colt, and uh, they spied this filly and, and just fell in love with her, and then we, uh, he went and they had a, a reserve, they decided to go up to a, an amount, and Ollie just kept going. He just said, Dad, I've, I've seen, he's ringing me up in hospital and telling me all about it and the pedigree and what she was like. And he said, she is, she is a cracker. And anyway, he, he bought her for a double of what they wanted. And you know, I came into the picture. He said, we've paid too much for her. I said, well, that's okay. I ring up my friends in uh, Hong Kong and these, uh, Francis Louis, he uh, was in the Uniface Syndicate that we won the 1994 New Zealand Derby with and uh, and we said we bought this horse and uh, he said well that's fine that's good how much <laughs> and they said okay we'll take half of it so you know they took half of it and then Olivia Arthur's daughter you might have seen the article in the paper she had a bad cross-country accident um, and uh, it was bad as you could get she passed away and uh, we then we thought well this is what we get to, to remember Olivia with. Yeah. And uh, so we went from there. It would be great for, to honour Olivia's memory, but uh, just tell us what you've made of, of this horse's development under Chris Waller. Oh, well, as you know, we've known Chris since he was a young guy, and Oliver and Chris get on very, very well. They trained alongside each other in Rose Hill, and then Chris just went on and on and on, and Oliver had a family, and he just wanted to be in the country. He said, I want to start off with the kids like we did at home yeah. and so he just uh, put his preferences there and he, he got out of training and uh, went into the uh, you know uh, farm to spell horses and that sort of thing. How, how are you rating your chances? Can, can, is this a race that, that Youngstar can win? Yes, she can. Where are you based these days Anton? Uh, in Sydney. We've uh, we developed a property for another one of our clients in uh, in Hong Kong, and uh, it's a magnificent property, the Hermitage, and uh, we've won a lot of races from there, and uh, and we spell um, Chris's uh, Group One winners, and they come here straight after this carnival. In fact, Oliver went home yesterday. Winks was arriving at three o'clock this morning, and he's gone to be there to take her off the float and check her temperature and check that she's all right. Uh, she gets looked after like the Queen. <laughs> How long have you been out of New Zealand? Since 1991. Yeah. And you love it over here? Oh, fantastic! It's it's wonderful. It's it's a hype. You know, it's 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 alive. It's racing. And the disappointing thing about for New Zealand is that all these people are here for the Melbourne Cup and the Sydney Cup, and they come and they see all these wonderful horses racing. A lot of them are New Zealand horses. But then they go and buy an Australian horse. And the shuttle stallions have, have given them so much knowledge about the inter, in, the relationship and the pedigrees of the it's shuttle horses. Best of luck for tomorrow, and we're, we're all rooting for, for young staff for you guys. Well, it would be lovely. I, we just don't want any bad luck. We're happy to take on everybody at the same level. And good luck to everybody else too. Let's hope it's a fair race. Thank you so much for doing it. Really, really good.